Okay, so I'm outside and there is Chester or Stubby. I'll tell you in a second when I see his tail. He has one peanut because I know my father said he didn't quite see them yesterday because they've been, I'll show you. I don't want to scare him, so I don't want to walk close, but I'll show you after. They're excavating the neighbor's property because somebody bought it and they're um, taking care of it. And actually, my parents are super happy about it because they got rid of a tree that like we never liked. It was dying and it was like on the border, so we didn't know whose tree it was. So this is how friendly my dad basically tamed these chipmunks. There's two of them, and like they're tame. Like one of them comes to his name. Oh, I think this one's Chester. Are you Chester? Like he sits on my dad's lap, <laughs> and I can pet him. Funny, funny, funny story. The other day, my dad was laying in like a hammock or just the swinging chair we have it in the backyard and just about to close his eyes and fall asleep and one of the chipmunks, I think he said it was Chester, jumped on his freaking head so he flips up, almost having a heart attack, his heart's pounding the chipmunk goes flying in the air he said, like twirling around <laughs> so he was more worried about the chipmunk than himself but the chipmunk ended up being okay I don't know why he ran away, I have more peanuts so yeah, I'm just out here in my pajamas, not like I really care, because it's like capris and a t-shirt. So yeah, I put some peanuts out here, because I didn't think I was actually going to see them. So yeah, I think that was Chester, because he had a full tail. Stubby doesn't have a full tail, hence his name Stubby. <laughs> right. So I just left some peanuts here, and then I came back out. So I was going to show you the garden because they weren't excavating a second ago, so I didn't think they were doing it. Now it's noisy and I don't want to walk around and look like an idiot. So we lost all our privacy, as you can see. Because that, you couldn't see. There's like a 10 foot hedge, ugly hedge right there. Um, there's a tree that he took down. I don't know if you can see the stump, but like right around there. So we've lost privacy for now, but they're going to be putting up a fence and doing stuff in the front if they don't put up a, like a hedge. Yeah, my parents are going to probably put up bushes just for some privacy because the fence that they're probably going to be putting in is like a wrought iron fence so that's not too private that's our backyard right now if you want to see a tour I will at some point can walk around and show you like all the plants and stuff Chester I don't know if he's going to come back he only had like two peanuts because I only gave him one and I think he got the one that I left there's a hole that he comes out of. Walk around this way. They come out of this drainage hole. Because I don't even think it's, it gets used anymore since the roof got changed. So. But I put a peanut right in front of there to like attract. I scared them off one day and all I had to do was kind of like make this noise and they came back. The guy with the excavator is probably like, what is she doing? Don't worry, I'm not taping you. It's all about you, excavator. But we did watch the tree coming down, though. That was kind of funny. Well, it wasn't funny. It was kind of cool. Because I've never seen in person that close, like, a tree being cut down. So. And they haven't hurt any of the plants that are kind of close to the border. Because they're far enough, my dad said, so they shouldn't be ruined. So, you know. But they've been really nice, my dad said, so he's happy with the neighbor. They asked him about the pine tree that they took down. My dad was like, yeah, I take it, like, I don't want it. Like, it's, he's like, we know. Technically, it was the neighbor's, it wasn't ours, but they weren't sure whose tree it was. Like, it was the old neighbor's. And then this person bought the house and is now doing stuff. There you are. Don't take your own. You gotta take... Don't climb me, either. Here, there's more. I knew you'd come back. They come back until they know you don't have any more. Up. Oh. Please don't climb me. I'm not comfortable with you climbing me like my father is. <clears throat> He's getting grabby. Are you full? Yeah, you look full. Here's the cheeks. They don't really have pouches like hamsters, even though they probably should. Just go down the drain pipe. Yep, see, that's the spot. Where are you going? Alright. So, yeah, there's our chipmunks. 
And uh, I guess I'll end it like that because I'm not going to walk around and show you everything since, uh, you know, there's noise going on and someone's going to think I'm an idiot and walking around my backyard. I don't want to be watched. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, go ahead and ask. Um, go ahead, if you have any comments, go ahead and ask. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask, comment. We do all that jazz. If you do want to see a full like garden tour, I can do that. Definitely don't think I did any of this. This is all my father. Not even my mother. My father does this. <laughs> my mother kind of sometimes helps, but she has a full-time job, so... You know, she doesn't have as much time as he does. So, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.